Hi everyone. So what we're looking at in this video are the hurly hand and the catching hand. So the most important thing for kids is that when they're learning to play a hurling, that they hold the hurley with their dominant hand. So if a child is right-handed, they should have their right hand on top, and if they're left-handed, they should have their left hand on top. On average, about 90% of children are right-handed and 10% are left-handed. So if you had a group of 30 kids, you'd expect about three of them to be left-handed. Now obviously averages, you could have more or could have less, but in general, the rule of thumb is 10% of children are left-handed. A really, really important thing for under six or under eight coaches is to know if they are new with a group, they need to identify which hand the players should be holding their hurley with as soon as possible. So if that means they need to make a list of which hands they hold the hurley with, that would be a good idea to do as well. There are a number of different ways of figuring out which hand does the child hold their hurley with. Probably the simplest one is to put the hurley down in front of them and then to try and pick up the hurley. Generally, they'll go down and pick it up with the hand that they hold their pencil with. If you put it down to one side of them though, they would generally pick it up with the hand that's closest to them. So make sure that it's out straight in front of them so they can go left or right. So they'd lean down and pick it up with the hand that they'd right with. Another tip for seeing it in a group of players who's left-handed and who's right-handed is if you've got all the players to imagine that they're drawing a sun in the sky and then colouring in the sun and drawing a few clouds, most kids will put up the hand that they're right with, so they'll put up the hand that they're most right with. If you're coaching a group of players, be an extra observant to try and spot which kids are right with their left hand. A final tip for trying to observe as a coach which hand the player should be holding their hurley with as well. Is if you did a throwing exercise and they were throwing with one hand, if you got the players to try and throw the ball as far as they could, they would always try and throw the ball with the hand that they hold their pencil with. So this is the hand that they should hold their hurley with as well. Thanks for watching the video guys, hope you enjoyed it.